Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Bamboo Labs P1P. And I have to tell you, I consider this one of the best printers on the market for the money, and then also based on the capabilities. I don't say that often. The Bamboo Labs P1P is one of the fastest printers that we've tested on the market, if not the fastest. It is the most flexible of the printers that we have reviewed. It could turn out prints like this, and yes, it's color capable as well. It prints at a speed unlike any other printer that we've had, and it maintains the quality that you would expect, even at the highest speeds. And today, the P1P is much more affordable than its predecessor. Uh, we're gonna talk about the campaign. In this video, we're going to go over all the features. We're gonna give you a detailed view. So this is gonna be a long video, so make sure you check out the chapters in the, in the very bottom because we're gonna go over all the areas and why you should consider this printer. We're also gonna go through the actual software itself that's used to create prints like this and why it's so flexible and easy to use. Really, this is something that a beginner can use or someone who is advanced. If you are just a casual 3D printer or you're trying to run a business, you're gonna be able to great, create amazing prints. So let's check out the specs and we'll talk about some of the things that we're doing. Now the Bamboo Labs P1P has a build area of 256 by 256 by 256 uh, millimeters. Now if you're questioning, well how big is that? Well if you think about any kind of cosplay where you're looking to build, let's say, armor, uh, you're going to be able to put a helmet on this, you're going to be able to put larger pieces on it, and you're going to have a lot of flexibility to create a lot of different things. It, the bed itself has a max temperature of 100 C. It has a PEI flexible build plate, which means that things are gonna stick and they're gonna pop off as it cools off and give you real nice surface, which you're gonna see. Uh, it also then has a, or comes with a nozzle of 0 0.04 millimeters, and that has a maximum temperature of 300 C. Now you heard that right, that's a really high temperature nozzle, and it's gonna give you a lot of flexibility to print a lot of different materials. Now, nozzles are available in 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and also in hardened steel that are gonna again open up a lot of different materials and also give you the ability to print even faster. The larger the nozzle, six and eight, the faster it's gonna be able to lay filament, the faster it's gonna print. But keep in mind, there'll be a slight degrade in quality as you do, or detailed actually, not quality, detailed. Now, print speeds, spectacular. We're talking about 500 millimeters per second. And then the materials that you're gonna be able to print are ABS, PLA, PC, ASA, uh, PLACF, PETG, so there's all these different materials. Now keep in mind that a lot of these materials, as you start getting into the more abrasive ones, you know, really you have to watch temperature because of uh, the fact that this printer is not enclosed. Now, in addition to all those materials that you can print, you have power loss recovery. You have, um, especially if you participate in the early support of the pre-order, you'll get a built-in camera, you'll get a light, you also get a, you know, filament run-on sensors, right? This solution comes with a Wi-Fi based printer that will support Windows application, an iPhone application, and an Android application, giving you all these different options when it comes to monitoring your prints and then also kicking off prints. The app itself remembers or keeps a log of all your prints. So if you wanna start a print again, based on your previous settings, all you have to do is go into your app, hit that button, and you can print again. Now, like I said, color. Lots of color options. You know, this is kind of some of the stuff that we've been doing. Uh, the color options, you're talking about four to 16 colors. Pretty spectacular, and it's super easy. If you could take a spool of filament and put it on a printer, then you can do color. That's all it takes. And also, if you can paint by numbers too. So you'll see that. Uh, and then it has custom panels that's gonna give you the ability to create your own custom view and make this printer yours, unlike any other printer before it. So let's go ahead and take out all the features. We're gonna look at the actual printer. We're gonna look at the software. We're gonna look at some of the prints. Um, and as you saw here, you know this is one of the ones that we printed. Uh, this is Wednesday and we printed, this is black, white, skin tone. You'll notice that the eyes, all the detail that was done here, this took 14 hours to do and you're gonna see it close up. We also started creating some ornaments and I have several ornaments right here ornaments that we created um, on this printer that are printed super fast. Here's one ornament and then here's another one that is for realsters. Uh, fantastic again gifts for this holiday season and even beyond that. So again, let's go check it out. You can see that I'm really excited about this one. So we'll take a closer look. Now we're gonna take a closer look at the Bamboo Lab P1P and I have to say that 
this printer hasn't even made it into um, the area where we have all our printers uh, because um, as I brought it into the house and been testing it, um, Nilda's liked it so much and we've been creating ornaments, we've been creating a lot of things for uh, this holiday that um, this is where she's wanted it because she's wanted to see it working and as it's making all the things that it's making. Uh, a couple things that we'll highlight first of all, um, as we take a closer look at the P1P, you'll notice that I do have the AMS here on the side. Um, and the AMS is that automatic uh, material system that is basically going to load different filaments. Uh, this unit, just like with the carbon, can support up to 16 colors. Right now I have one unit here, and this is a four roll uh, that has both white, black, red, and then also has gray at the very end. So uh, let's take a closer look at the printer. We'll see why you'd want to consider this because I have to tell you, this is my all-time favorite printer because of the flexibility, the speed, and the quality. So let's get a closer look. Now the first thing that we'll take a look at is the bed. And as we mentioned, this is a 256 by 256 by 256 bed. And one of the things I like about this printer, and this is one of the things that tends to be my favorite um, when it comes from printing services, is that it does come with a PEI sheet. Now, this does not have a smooth PEI sheet on one side, then with the course on the other, but it makes it really easy for things to stick. And you can see um, there isn't really any marking left anywhere on the printer from any of the prints that have been uh, printed on it. Now, the cool thing about this printer is right out of the box, this printer works. Uh, and I have to highlight, this is one of the things I really look at printers, especially if you're a beginner or even if you're someone who's been running printers for a very long time or even someone who's running a business with printers, having a printer that out of the box starts working with very little, I would say, adjustment to the printer settings is critical for me. And this definitely falls into that space. Now, when you first start looking at this printer, the first thing that you may say is, you know what, this printer is incomplete because on that side, there's nothing and on this side, there's a panel. Well, the P1P allows you to really create and personalize your printer. So the panels can be customized. You can create your own panels. They give you all of the specs, all of the files necessary in order for you to create your own experience. So this is something that I printed myself. Uh, the folks from Bamboo Labs did send me uh, this with my uh, name here, or at least um, if you meant tech here, and I went ahead and, and I colored it. But I plan on creating my own, I would say, uh, shell for the printer uh, and having more of my brand on it. But this gives you a lot of flexibility to choose your color, choose your style, and then also put anything you'd like on it. Now this display is a very simple display. Uh, there are two versions. The X1 Carbon does have a larger display, which is color, but this is really for use of um, just monitoring your prints as you walk up to the printer. And frankly, the software that they have gives you all the information you need, and that's why I prefer to also work uh, with the printer. So here, basically what I come to is to see how many minutes I have left, stop it, pause it if I have to, just check up on it. And the information I have here is enough for that. You'll notice over here on the side, you have your nozzle temperature, your bed temperature, your speed, which you also have standard, you have a silent, you also have a sport and you have a ludicrous mode. It just goes up 25% and it gets like crazy fast. You have the minutes that you have remaining as an AMS. It has also your camera, which by the way is gonna do time lapses. It's also gonna allow you to monitor and it's gonna do standard recording. Uh, play and pause, you can see it's found there. And as I go down here, you'll be able to adjust certain things. At the very top, you'll notice um, your print head. Here's your Bowden tube for your feed, as well as some of the, the power going to the print head. Uh, this comes with a .04 nozzle. Uh, is gonna be able to support a lot of materials, but not the most abrasive ones, um, such as carbon fiber, or anything that requires high temperatures, because of obviously this is uh, rather open. You can get one, uh, or a nozzle, that's gonna be able to support um, more, um, I would say, abrasive materials. Uh, there is a hardened steel version that you can get and it's really easy to swap out. Now, part of the pre-order, if you're an early pre-order, you're gonna be able to get this kind of lighting kit and then also an additional cooling fan that you're gonna see in a second. So this is something that I printed. So I did a white filament print and then I also did the, the black to get me uh, kind of my light setting. Now the pre-orders are still going on now and they're gonna be available early in January. Um, I went ahead and I actually ordered another one. This one was provided to me by Bamboo Labs, but we love this so much that I went ahead and I purchased my own and uh, supported them in their campaign because that's how much um, I believe in this product and what I've seen from reviews and I've seen of others that have the, the X1 Carbon, people actually uh, love these printers. So wanted to make sure I supported them as well. What you'll also notice, now this is also part of that 
early um, pre-order uh, wave, you get this e extra fan. This is an auxiliary fan, a parts cooling fan, and it blows as your print is going down, as this bed is moving, um, it's cooling the material. Now, this is not a bed slinger, meaning that the bed moves back and forth. It just goes up and down. And even though it prints really fast, I will tell you this, it doesn't sling, but it does shake and it does wobble. So you're gonna wanna have a very, I would say, sturdy desk because of how much this moves. It's definitely not the type of printer that you're gonna be able to have with your computer and working from your computer as it's printing on the side, because if it's running, this thing runs, especially, and you want it to run fast, but the quality is stupendous. It just shakes a lot when it's printing. And it goes through this whole calibration process um, just as it's setting itself up, just to compensate for that shake. Now in the back of the printer, there's a couple things going on here. So first of all, you'll notice that this tray that you find here, uh, this is what they refer to as, yeah, the Bamboo Labs uh, poop. So the printer does poop. Uh, and basically as it's switching colors, so we were printing out Wednesday, um, and there was a skin color in black, you'll notice this is as it was purging and switching from one color to another. Uh, does that a lot, even when it's starting up, even if you're not going through multicolor, you're gonna need a little tray. I printed this out so that as it comes out of this chute right here, it falls here and it doesn't fall on the floor or clog your printer. Really important. What it does is it's gonna clean the print uh, head every single time. It's going to extrude some filament to make sure that you have a good first layer. And that's what really guarantees a lot of the greatness when it comes to this printer is how much self-preventative maintenance is going on before it does every single print. You'll also notice here the building tube. Um, I actually have a splitter because I, I wanted to be able to get a feed from the AMS and then uh, go into the printer. And then if I wanted to use my manual spool, which goes here, and I printed this out for larger spools, I could do that as well. Now on this side, you're gonna notice a couple things. So here is the camera that was part of the kit that we installed. It was very fast. It's not the highest res camera, but it does the work that you need it to do. Uh, you'll notice how the frame here is fully exposed and the panels that we have that you can put on this side basically cover this up. Uh, most printers that you look at now don't have a cover and you can get a case um, added if you'd like. I like the fact that you can personalize your own and choose any color you have, but there's nothing wrong with running this as is, especially for printing PLA. And the majority of the stuff that we print in our place is PLA. Now here you have the uh, AMS and let's talk about this for a second. Now the AMS is pretty cool because what it does is it loads all the filament for you. And as it's loading it, it actually uh, goes into the Bowden tube it basically starts printing. Once it's done and it needs to switch color, it basically cuts it, right? Retracts it back and then it pulls from the next one. So you can have four for every AMS, but you can actually create, um, I believe it's three of them connected. So they get daisy chained and uh, there's a hub that you would get where you would be able to have multi-color prints. This uh, is, I think one of the most differentiating features of this printer. The fact that it prints so fast, has fantastic quality, and then it has such a good uh, color printing solution. I have um, the actual palette, pain in the butt to get working, um, not as easy to use or as error free. And frankly, it's close to $800 if you get the Palette Pro. That's the cost of the printer. And then with uh, several hundred dollars more, not that much, you're able to get one of these and you're getting a printer that prints faster and you're getting a better color solution. All right, so next let's talk about the print quality. So what we're gonna do is bring in some of the traditional things that we all look at. Uh, so here, for example, we have a Benchy. You can see uh, the quality of this Benchy. Now this was printed in its super fast mode. So this Benchy printed in 20 minutes and this is great quality for something that uh, printed that fast. I have yet to see a bad first layer coming from this printer. Um, does a really nice, fantastic job. And you can see how the arches are. Everything here just looks great. Uh, this is more than a pass for me. It's just uh, an, an amazing first print, um, just uh, coming off of the file. Here's another Benchy that we printed in another color. Uh, and again, no problem whatsoever. This is a great first print coming from this printer. Uh, we tried to do some more complicated things. So we basically uh, got this model here. And uh, this is a print in place model. Everything works. And we actually did multicolor white and black with a black ribbon. Love the way this worked and the feet are fully functional. And this also uh, did a fantastic job. Now, one of the things that we started doing also, and you're gonna see the quality of this, is we started creating ornaments and wanted to see what the color quality would be like. So this is an ornament that we created. Basically, this was an SVG file that I converted um, using Tinkercad uh, to a 3D file. And what we then did is added 
words to it, or in this case, a name. And then what we did is we added the color. Now take a look at how good this is. So look at the quality. I'll just try to make sure that this is really good in focus. You can see what this printer is doing. And again, this is at a super fast uh, speed. It takes around 20 minutes to make this ornament. And look at how amazing the print quality is. And then look, if we put this in the corner right here, you'll notice that the actual letters are white, but then I have the top layer is red. And what I did is I turned on ironing because I wanted to make sure that it had kind of like a uh, store finish to it. And we actually had a Christmas party uh, where we invited friends and family, and then everybody, oops, uh, got their own ornament. So this is a sample of the ornament. Now, color. Uh, this is a very popular model. Uh, this is a Wexter model. And one of the things that you'll find here is just the fact is, is that this printed in 14 hours, multicolor. So you have black, white, you have skin cone, uh, skin tone. And this is our 3D filament matte, um, and then black again. And you can notice the what's going on with the eyes, the eyeliner, and then you can see how the eyes were colored, and then also there's white in the eyes as well. 14 hours to print, but take a look at this quality. And by the way, this did have supports. So look at how beautiful this is, All right? Absolutely amazing print. And it does take long to print this because obviously every single layer, it prints all the way up to here in black. And then it's having to print a little bit of black, a little bit of white, a little bit of black, a little bit of white, and it's switching back and forth. And that's where you saw the purge taking place. And then as it gets to this area here, now you're dealing with even more colors. So it's going from black to white to the skin color, and it's gonna have to do all those switches. And the same thing is happening here as it's doing uh, things uh, hand. Now, the thing about this is that the supports, uh, the predefined supports, that Bamboo uh, Lab has created are absolutely fantastic. I was able to have very little supports. There was supports right here for Thing, nothing on the chin, and there was um, some supports coming over here. Uh, they came off super clean. And you can, again, take a look at that model. Absolutely gorgeous, right? And this is what sets this printer apart, right? This is, in my opinion, the best printer on the market to date. It is gonna be the printer that uh, if you want something fast, if you want it high quality and you're not sacrificing quality for speed and you want the flexibility of multicolor the way you know, we're showing you here, then hands down, pre-order it, $6.99, this is a deal, especially if all you print is PLA. You don't need an enclosure. We print a lot. We have over 25 printers that don't have enclosures and they print fine. And the majority of us, are that's what we do. Now, if you want high temperature material like carbon fiber or PACF or any of the other type materials that are on the, on the market, then you can definitely get um, the one with the actual enclosure uh, to be able to have a higher temperature. But this is gonna meet the needs for most people. Now, a couple things I wanted to show you uh, is the app before we, because I wanna have some samples printing so you can see how this works. Uh, so the app, very powerful app. Uh, it's still under development, so there's areas that they're improving, but you'll notice that it shows your AMS here, all your colors, shows you, again, the printer and the current state of the printer. And the cool thing about this is if you go into your history, and you can see all the prints that we've been printing. We've been printing a lot of different things. Um, and you know, there's things that I've been testing, so I've been stopping things. The printer hasn't really failed at all. This is me just starting and stopping sizing because I'm uh, doing some things that are going on. But we've been printing a lot of things. And let me just go over here so you can see, uh, again, Wednesday. And you can see what Wednesday, you can see 14 hours, 40 minutes, right? and you can see how much material took place. And the cool thing about this is that I can actually hit this and then run it again. Uh, look at this, this is a spool um, device, two hours to print. Um, if I continue to come down, I was doing also lithopanes, not a problem with the lithopanes. Uh, we did three um, ornaments and that took an hour and 34 minutes and the amount of material that it took. If I were to go, let's say over here and let's look at this one ornament, um, I'm able to see again, how long it took to print, uh, and this was a little bit slower because we were doing some testing. Uh, again, you can see the material that was being used, and then I could just go ahead and start it up again if I wanted to do that. We printed out Thing, and you'll, we'll go in here and we'll choose, uh, this is the largest one that we printed, two hours and 53 uh, minutes, and the amount of material that was used up as well, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start one up, and then we'll see how the printer works. 
Now, restarting a print is really simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose, this is, these are for some ornaments that we made. I'm just gonna choose this and I'm gonna put this to print. I can choose the color of the PLA I want. So I'm using red uh, because it's for a uh, Christmas ornament. And then I'm gonna hit print now. Now what you notice is as soon as the printer lays down that very first bead, it starts going down. We have great adhesion. That first layer is super clean and it will just start to speed up and speed up. And it's just amazing to watch. Uh, the printer really hasn't made it down to where we have our other printers as I indicated because my wife just is amazed at how clean things come out. And you know, there's a lot of holiday uh, kind of gift ideas that she's asking me to print for her. And we're doing a lot of those. So that's why we have both the ornaments and the bulbs that you've been seeing. But you can see how fast this first layer is going down. Nothing has been sped up here. And it's eventually going to go even faster and faster and faster where, you know, this thing does start to shake the stand-up dust that we have. It'll go down to our kind of like our uh, standard desk where we have the printers, but you can see it how it's starting to go here really quick. Uh, and this isn't ludicrous mode in any way. This is just the printer doing its thing and look at it go, look at it go. And you can see how everything is moving, but the quality is spectacular. Now the Bamboo Lab software is available for iOS, Android, also Windows, and available also on the Mac. And I'm just gonna take you through, through some of the key features that I really enjoy about this software. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go into the prepare area. And a couple things I just wanted to highlight um, is that you have in this area the ability to choose your uh, actual printer, the type of bed that it's printing on. And then what you have here is if you have that AMS solution, uh, this basic that we showed you is all your colors and the type of material that you have in it. You have then the ability to choose kind of like the overall resolution or quality. You can see that right here. Um, and then you could obviously make any changes that you'd like to this. You have then some basic things that uh, take place um, in printers as you're setting up uh, 3D prints. And what I'll tell you is that if you are a someone who's not very experienced with 3D printing, there's not much that you have to change here if you want to get good prints. Literally, you can actually just use the out-of-the-box standard settings when you install the software and you'll get fantastic prints. Now, there's always opportunities for tweaking and doing things, but that's just something that you'll be able to do optional. Now, uh, I'll highlight that in addition to having these settings, one of the things that I think sets this printer apart, and we're going to focus now on this area here, is the fact that you can have multiple beds, right? So let me just go into this one right here and zoom in for a second. So this is one of the beds, and if, what you can think about is that this is a rendering or a 3D representation of what I'm going to print. So this is um, the bulb that I printed in this, in this test, in this video. And if I were to just hit the slice button up here, I would slice this and I would be able to print this bulb and then you know just go with it. But the cool thing about this is that I can stage all these different prints. So over here, you saw that I was showing you all of these different ornaments that we printed. Here are all the ornaments. And if I make this one active, this print bed, now if I were to hit slice and print, let me move this over right here for you. Now what's going to happen is that this is what's going to be printing on the actual printer. And the cool thing is that if I pull back, these are all the different print beds that I have. Uh, you could almost look at them as like if they were jobs or staging, right? So I'm setting everything up because the colors are pretty much the same and all my settings are, are, are identical so I don't have to change anything. So that makes this, this application, I think, unique and powerful. Now, this is a, a version or an altered or modification, some people would call it a fork, of the Prusa slicer. So it has a lot of the Prusa capabilities in there, but then also has a lot of things that... Um, that don't exist is like this. Like I have never seen anything like this before. Now, just wanna show you how easy it is to color things. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna go into this uh, specific ornament. Uh, you notice you have all these controls here. This is if you wanna add another plate. We're not gonna do that. There's rotation, there's sizing. This is pretty standard. But I'm gonna go over here to this one right here, which is color painting. When I go into the color painting, you have all different options. You can do a circle, you can do sphere, you can go after triangles, or you could just fill certain areas, right? And you can do gap fills. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and let's say, for example, I wanted uh, these letters to be all different, um, a different color, or I wanted them to be um, alternating colors. So watch all I have to do. You choose your color, which again, matches the colors that you have over here that are in your AMS. And then I'm choosing the fill. And then I'm just putting my pointer right on top of what I wanna change. Bam, it's done. That's it, that's all it takes to paint. And now if I zoom in, you'll notice that this area right here is white. 
and then only the surface is black. Now, if I wanted to change these, all I have to do is, is just do one of these things, right? And then what it will do is it's gonna change. And if I rotate this, let's go ahead, oops, let's get out of that, did a little bit too much, all right? What you'll notice is I'm able then to see, and we'll get out of the color. And now I'm able to see the actual, let's rotate. Ah, go out of that, there you go. Uh, what I'm able to do is see all the way around it. And you'll notice that the R here, the outer area, like this area, is, is black. So you can do a lot of modifications and literally it's, it's like paint by, by numbers. All you do is you highlight what you wanna work in, you choose the color, you determine what is it that you want to have in this color. For example, I wanted to go back to white because that's what I, I like that effect. I'm going to change these back to white. And now it's just like everything else where the surface layer alone is that color. And if I want to change each one of these characters, I just change it to the, to the color that I'd like. And that's pretty much all there is to it. You can paint, like you can use like this uh, tool here to kind of like paint, like if it was um, a marker or a highlighter, and that's going to work too. Like for example, if I grab this, you know, I could do something like that, but it just doesn't look, uh, it doesn't look clean and professional. So I like just highlighting certain areas. If I wanted to change the entire, let's say, ornament to a different color, for example, and I choose this fill again, and there's other options, there's layers as well. I can just tap on the area that I want to change. So that's one surface area. This is another. And now when you look at this, this ornament is again, white here, and then black surface around white characters. And, and, and again, you have four colors, but if you had a couple other AMSs connected to each other, then you'd be able to have eight colors, or then you would be able to have uh, go all the way up to 16. So super duper, uh, I would say flexible solution. I just love how easy it is to paint with this. Now, in addition to preparing, previewing, and then looking at your device, um, what we're doing right now, you can actually see here the print taking place and as the, as the print head is moving, back and forth and it's actually printing something for me right now. I have here, the file name is ornament, so, uh, you know, or the project, so it has all the ornaments, but I'm actually printing a spool holder for a three uh, kg uh, spool uh, that I have. And you'll notice here that it's telling you which filament it's using. So here are all the colors and it's working off of this one right now. It'll tell you your temperature of your both your nozzle and your bed. It's going to tell you also if the lamp is on, the speed, and you have multiple speeds here. You can go for standard speed, you could do um, sport, and you can go ludicrous. I found that when you go ludicrous, it, it does go crazy. It goes super fast, but depending on what you're printing, you're probably not going to get the best speed or, or quality. So I've never gone beyond sport when I've done ludicrous. It just doesn't look good enough for me. So uh, I stick between these two or I go into silent mode. Now we're gonna go back into the prepare area and we're gonna go back to this ornament cap. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit slice. Uh, the cool thing about the slice, as it's going through and doing its slice, it's gonna tell you everything that you need to know. And you notice that this uh, cap is gonna take six minutes and four seconds. That's all it's gonna take. Now, if we were to look at those ornaments that I had, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to six ornaments, right? And I'm gonna hit slice, so actually I had already done it. That's gonna take me four hours and 21 minutes to get all these. But remember, it's taking a little bit longer because it's going through and it's doing all the color. So it's doing a white, then it's doing a color. And then in addition to that, I have ironing, which is smoothing everything out so that there's no line. So it looks like it was literally uh, commercially made, um, which I'll tell you the quality is pretty spectacular what you see coming through this. So a lot of flexibility, a lot of information um, telling you about how this printer works. And again, these areas, we're not gonna go into them. They're pretty much some of the standard settings that you'd find in other printers. Uh, I'm just highlighting the key features and the things that you'll find most interesting and most flexible. So guys, that wraps up our review. Order it now. I'm telling you, order it now. See you in the next video.